Bruno, say what's up to the YouTube. Nah, he's just minding his own business. I don't want to get too close. He gets really aggressive when you mess with his rags. What's up, guys? Next day here, and we got the sway bar installed on the RX-7. I didn't want to do it last night and put fingerprints in the fresh paint. We got all that restored. I would have went ahead and bought front and rear aftermarket sway bars, but I did need these original brackets. Mine were completely bent. We can always upgrade that later on down the road. And for now, while I'm waiting on parts for the RX-7, I'm going to go ahead and jump on the Mustang. We had a little accident happen. I've already got the front bumper and side skirt off. I have to get the fender off. It was actually my brother who was driving the car. He must have had a heavy date or something, but he got a nick of the fender right over there. And that was an issue we were always having. The front sat so low on this car. I'm not sure if I just need to get some coilovers and adjust the height or just put the original springs. But I really like the fitment in the rear. There's no issues here or any rubbing. That tucks right underneath the quarter panel. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and get this fender off and then we'll go from there. Alrighty guys, so we got the Mustang fender all painted and repaired. It turned out great. And it did take several of those light passes with the gun for the paint to flow in because I did have a hard line right here from the primer. But we got all that nice and smooth. Got a nice transition on it. So now let's go ahead and mix up some clear and give it a shot. I got the Mazda all covered up as well as the Lexus. The garage is semi-clean. Let's go ahead and wet the floor and get this done. Alright, so first coat of clear is laid down. I did take it a little bit easier, so there is a little bit of orange peel because lately I've been making a lot of runs with my clear. So the second time we're going to go a little bit heavier, and then the third time we're just going to fill all this in. So I give it about a 10 minute flash. All right, so we just wrapped it up with our fourth layer of clear. I went extra heavy on that to give me some room to sand and buff the rest of these imperfections out. There's like a few pieces of trash. And then right here we have a little bit of orange peel, but overall not bad. Check out the repairs. You can't even see anything over here. So overall saved a couple hundred bucks, got this fixed. Now let's go ahead and get it out of the way and jump back on the Mazda. What's up guys, next day here and the fender has dried for 24 hours. It's still looking nice and beautiful. Got a few imperfections, but not a big deal. I was kind of expecting that in a garage paint job. But let's go ahead and get this Mustang all back together. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my fender liner, get all that buttoned away. Then we'll jump to our headlight, fender, and bumper. So let's wrap this up. I sure do miss my Roush power. So let's go ahead and get all this done and knocked out of the way.
What's up you guys, next day here we're back on the Mustang. The other day I got the fender installed and our headlight, all that's aligned. And check out the paint match right over here. That's like spot on. That's the reason why I didn't want to fix these couple of scratches right here where the emblem covers that up. I didn't want any paint in that area right there. Our blend job turned out amazing. So now let's go ahead and get this car on some ramps. Start getting that front bumper back on, button all this up and we can have this Mustang back on the road. Let's hear this cold start. It's been a while on this thing, man. I know. She's about to be roaring, man, waking up all the neighbors. So I've been working out kind of hard and I've got some back pain and stomach pain, but we're just gonna take it easy and see what we could do. So I'm gonna move around a little bit slower. Be careful with it, man. You don't want to scratch it up. Oh, I'm extremely careful working on this car. Get your hand over there so it's not up against the fender. Now the trick is to just get it right on top. We got it in place. It's like a glove. And if you ever have trouble getting your bumpers out right here, the trick I used is always some WD-40. Everything wants a little bit of lube. It makes it a little bit easier without you breaking the clips. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the bolts that run around here. This side's not clipped in. I thought you had this side. Go ahead and clip her in. Mm. 
Man, I just can't get over how good this thing looks. The color itself, man, let's talk about that. Like we bought one pint of paint, but I always want to restore like an older Mustang in this color. But this color is extremely expensive. I've always thought like a Ferrari red or any type of red would be more, but my Jeep paint turned out a lot cheaper than this. A pint of this stuff costs like 80 bucks for half a pint. We got yeah, half I a paid, pint. I paid 80 bucks for that half a pint. All right guys, so we got the front bumper all buttoned up underneath and last night it got pretty dark on us so I pulled the car inside the garage. It wasn't feeling that good so I just called it a day. But today all we have to do is put this fender liner on in the side skirt and all of it would be buttoned up. Check this out though, look at this repair. Nice and beautiful. Big shout out to my pops who's a professional aluminum welder. He helped us save this fender, not sure if I could have done it without him. And then on this side, it's a little tricky getting this little screw right over here. Since these are the GT350 fender liners, they're a little bit more rigid. So I had to take a few clips off, but we got the bumper all secured. Let's go ahead and wrap this side up and take the car out for a spin. All right guys, so I just wrapped it up with our fender liner and side skirt. All that's buttoned down and ready to go. Now for the final touch, let's go ahead and put the emblem back on it. Other than buffing the fender out, I don't want to get overlooked as a four cylinder EcoBoost Mustang. And I should probably get a Roush emblem, but I kind of like surprising people on the red light. So let's go ahead and put that on and take it for a spin. Alright guys, that's a wrap for today's episode. If you are new here, be sure to like and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. We've got some more awesome things on the way. Follow us on Instagram at Danny.tv. Thanks for all the love and support. And if you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to drop a fat like. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.